Hello friends, my name is Jessa and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Books Past Bedtime. In today's video, we're going to be doing the fourth installment, I think, of my little series where I take you along on a week in my life as a flight attendant and I show you how much I realistically read alongside my full-time job. That's what we're doing today. And today is kind of a special edition because I'm going to theme it a little bit further. So I kind of need like a mental reset. I've been feeling kind of in a rut. I've been feeling kind of slumpy. I haven't been reading a ton. My brain is just like jumping around from project to project and can't like decide what to prioritize on. So this has resulted in me having like 10 books on my currently reading and so the goal of this vlog is to kind of clear that out for September. This is the last week of August and I would like to go into September feeling a little bit fresh, feeling a little bit more on top of things. I did like an environment reset yesterday so I like cleaned all my, my room, I cleaned my kitchen, like I cleaned everything yesterday. I think the next step is to kind of clear my currently reading because it's overwhelming. I'll put in a little clip of like all of the books that are on it. There's a lot. <laughs> Let me go gather them. These are all the ones I have physically and then I have two more I think. So I have a total of nine books that I'm currently reading right now, which is crazy. <laughs> Some of these for our other vlogs and projects so I might not like go into in-depth thoughts about them in this vlog but we are gonna see like how much of this I can get knocked out. So let's just kind of talk about what I'm reading. So I'm currently reading The Pairing by Casey McQuiston. This is probably the one I've worked on almost, like most recently but I have put it aside because I didn't, I'm not loving it um, and it was, I was already kind of in a reading slump so I didn't want to put myself further into a reading slump. I'm feeling a little bit better. I've finished a couple like KU light fluffy books since then so I think I can get back into this one. I am reading this for a different vlog. I'm currently 117 pages into it and I'm hoping like once it gets to the 50% mark it'll start to get better. That's kind of what I've heard. I just have a lot of trouble with seeing other char like characters have intimate relations with characters that aren't the love interest. I don't like seeing that on page um, and so I think that's m my main problem with this book is that the two characters like are hooking up with other people <laughs> as this book is progressing so I'm not having I'm not loving that but I do want to finish this one I do want to jump into it like it's written well like I like the characters I just don't like that they're having sex with other people <laughs> so this one is on the docket it is like almost yeah it's 407 pages so I have like a little under 300 to read in this one and like a quarter of the way through so this one's on the TBR <laughs> I also like randomly started middle of the night by Riley Sager a couple weeks ago and then I just like put it aside like I I think I read yeah I'm on page 206 and I did that in one day and then I put it aside I'm like kind of like I don't even remember what's happening in this one it is a total of 365 365 pages so I have like 160 left to read so this should be like easy to knock out I don't know why it's just been sitting around I don't know why I haven't picked it back up but <laughs> We're gonna do it in this log. I'm also currently reading The Spare. This one has probably been on my currently reading the longest out of all of these. I randomly picked this book up at um, The Ripped Bodice here in Brooklyn and read some of it like on the subway on the way home and then I just haven't picked it back up again. Mostly because my brain's like, oh you have other things you should be reading for other video projects and not this, but um, it's literally just been sitting on my currently reading since like October I think. So we're gonna work on this one this week. I might go back and read like reread a little bit of it. I don't think I need to start from the beginning though because I do kind of remember what's happening. This book did get water damaged though so it's like I kind of like how it sounds though. The crinkliness. Anyway. Um, like I mentioned, my brain's just hopping around all over the place, so I also started Brother Song the other day because I was like, oh, this seems like something that will get me out of my reading slump, which it, it probably would, but I'm also just like, why am I reading so many things? <laughs> so I'm 56 pages into this. I'm loving this so far. This is the last book that I have to read in the Green Creek series, which I'm doing a Green Creek reading vlog, so that should be out shortly, um, maybe even before this vlog. Who knows? Who knows? But I'm reading this as well. This book is on my currently reading. I have only read 50 pages of it. I do think that I am gonna restart this one though because I really don't remember what was happening. This is like supposed to be a sapphic YA fantasy romance I think and I think like the girl everyone she touches dies or something. 
this one might not be read in this vlog because I do think I'm going to start it again, so I might not count it as currently reading, but it's on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads right now. Um, I'm also reading City on Fire by Garth Risk Halsberg, which is a part of a video where I'm reading the longest books on my TBR. As you can see, this book is fucking huge. I am like, I think I'm like close to 50% of the way through at this point. Um, I've read a little bit more, but I was like reading on my Kindle, so I'm not exactly sure um, how far I am. This is like, I don't even know how to explain this book i guess it's lit fic it's kind of crime-esque as well we're following like a bunch of different characters and how their lives are intersecting in new york city around like the turn of the sun are they in the 80s they're in the 70s i guess we're gonna get to the blackout of july 13th 1977 which plunges the world into darkness and everyone's lives would change forever it's fine so far i don't know it's not really my cup of tea and i don't know that it ever really was but that's what i get for just buying whatever i see and adding it to my physical tbr i guess um i'm also in the middle of ring shout by p jelly clark this is this is like a post post apocalyptic fantasy novel in which the members of the kkk are like actually turning into legit like alien monsters and our main characters are eradicating them from the world <laughs> um it's good so far i'm reading this for a vlog where I'm reading the shortest books on my TBR, so opposite of that last one. I'm 50% of the way through this. I have filmed my update clip, so I can keep reading this one, so I just need to. This one will be so easy to read because it's literally like 181 pages and I'm on like 96, so this one I can knock out in one sitting and I need to do that this week, so. And then I also am reading A Nobleman's Guide to Seducing a Scoundrel, which I was reading in my last video of this. In my last, like, video in this series. I don't know what I'm saying. This is a MLM historical romance. I'm still 50% of the way through. I was going to read this for a different video project, but I decided to scrap that video project, so I need to just finish this book. And then for that same video project, I was going to read Page Boy by Elliot Page. I'm like 35 or 40% of the way through the audiobook of this one, and since I'm not filming that video anymore I kind of stopped reading this book but I do want to read it because it's good so far um so yeah we're gonna try and get back into that one as well where I'm gonna start I'm not sure <laughs> okay so I feel like highest priority is the pairing because this is gonna be included in my like next video that's going up from when I'm filming this so I think this is highest priority although I still am kind of like I don't want to read this but I, I do think I'll bring it with me on my trip tomorrow these two would be like next priority in videos that are coming up so these are also hopefully going to be read sooner rather than later but then i also like i feel like the spare is the one i want to pick up like the most right now just because i've been in such like a romancy easy fluffy read kind of mood since getting out of my reading slump and i'm also like wanting to pick this one up because i feel like this would be really easy to fly through and just get out of the way and it's very low pressure because i'm not having to read this for any reason the same with this one like i'm not having to read this one for any reason other than enjoyment so i'm like kind of leaning towards picking up one of these first but so we'll see what i get into i'm not really sure today though is sunday uh and i don't have much else to do today i've been pretty productive i didn't need to run to the grocery store and it's almost dinner time so I'm probably gonna make dinner but I might try and read tonight before I go to sleep we'll see I would like to I don't know I feel like this one too like I feel like I just need to read like 50 to 100 pages of every day just to like get through it um I think that's the only way I'm gonna get through it like I'm not gonna just sit down and read this in one sitting like no <laughs> maybe I'll do that too I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Tomorrow I have a two-day trip. I'm going from Newark to Denver, Denver to San Antonio, and then the next day just from San Antonio back home. So a very easy trip. Should be able to read some during the day. So I will let you know what book that I pick up tomorrow as well. Then after that on Wednesday, we're going on a very exciting international trip, which is another reason why I wanted to film this vlog because I like to have like memories just for myself of going on those trips and I actually got so lucky and got a trip that like is never on the trip boards um I'm going to Naples Italy which 
I can't believe like that is a trip you never see on the boards because people like hoard them and only give them to their friends. They don't let us Polybians, uh, junior people get them. <laughs> so I'm very excited that I just like happened to see that and snatched that up. And then on the 1st of September, I have another two day trip that's easy, like few legs and then just one leg back on the last day. Um, so I might include that in this vlog too, since it's just like a chunk of like seven days and I'm straight that I'm working and then I have like some some time off so I probably will just mash all that into this vlog um and give myself a good like week it's like ten nine nine days no I literally I'll just give myself from like today Sunday to Monday next week to try and knock out as many of these books as I can so we'll see how I get how much I get done but yeah, it'll just be so nice to like start September on a fresh note with like not so many freaking books on my currently reading. Wish me luck. Let's just hop right into it. Hello, I decided to start out with Ring Shout by P. Jelly Clark uh, because I felt like I needed a quick win to like get my motivation up and my momentum going. So that's what I did. So I sat here and listened. I listened to the audiobook of the last half of this book and I really enjoyed it. I feel like I explained a little bit of what this was in the intro this is basically like a speculative sci-fi horror book um, about our main character who is a part of this trio of monster hunters who their goal is to hunt down members of the KKK who have become actual like alien monsters. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super badass and super like interesting like the themes and the metaphors used in it. I thought it was really well done. I don't want to talk a ton about it just because I'm gonna um, be including it in another reading vlog but I am very happy to have finished it and I think I'm gonna give it four stars and so yeah I started on page 95 uh 93 it has 181 pages so I read <sighs> 88 <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct math I don't think so but I'll put it on the screen so first book done crossed off the currently reading very happy about that. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else tonight. I might try and like listen to this because I'm not gonna bring it on my trip with me obviously because it's huge. I do have it on my Kindle though so I can like read some of it if I want but I do kind of like going through the physical book because this book does have kind of some like mixed media included in it um so it is kind of cool to read physically so I might like try and read 50 pages of this or so before I go to sleep just to get like a little bit of a little bit of chunk done a little bit of progress made since this is the biggest guy that I am reading this week I do think if I read like 50 pages a day in this vlog like that should be enough to get it knocked out um so I might kind of what the fuck am I doing with this so I might set that as a tentative goal um so I might try and start that tonight so that's the plan. I probably won't get into anything else tonight. At least I'm not planning to, but if I do, I'll let you know. I do have to get up really early tomorrow. My report's at like 5.30, so I need to get up at like 3.30, which is fun. So I probably won't uh, be awake much longer because I think it's already like 9, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. Hello, I'm in San Antonio. Today I worked a flight from Newark to Denver and then from Denver here to San Antonio. It's only like 1.30 p.m. so I have the rest of the day to chill. I think I'm gonna go to the pool. That's my plan. When I talked to you last night I did end up reading like 60 pages of City on Fire so that was good. That book is so long I don't really have any more thoughts on it <laughs> after 60 pages um it's like nothing today though during my day i was able to finish middle of the night by riley sager so i got another book checked off the list i'm so excited um this was a really solid thriller i think that it's probably like middle of the pack as far as riley sager's books go for me i have read all of his books um i do really enjoy them this one i think i give four stars too like i think it was solid i liked how it ended i liked the storyline i thought it was really interesting i'm glad he finally wrote from the point of view of a man <laughs> um so i yeah I, I thoroughly enjoyed reading it i don't know that it's really gonna like stick with me for a long time or anything or that it did anything that really like blew me 
out of the water. I did kind of like how it was more like, I don't know, I, I kind of like how he goes back and forth between like things being paranormal and things not being paranormal. So you never really know for sure like what is, which way his books are going to go because they're all kind of like, is it paranormal? Is it not? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So I do like that. Yeah, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was good for the rest of the day. I do have some like YouTube work to do that I might try and do by the pool. It depends. I also brought the pairing with me so I can read that at the pool as well. First things first, I'm going to get out of this goddamn uniform. <laughs> so that's um, step number one. And then I'm going to order some food and then I'll see where the day takes me. Hello friends. Please ignore the mess in the background. I haven't cleaned my room yet today. I am going to get ready on camera because I have to go to work in an hour and I want to make sure I'm there on time. <laughs> so um, I'm going to do my makeup with you while I update you guys. So I didn't talk to you yesterday. I think the last time I talked to you I was in San Antonio. I was like gonna go to the pool and like maybe read and do something productive. Well, I went down to the pool and it was parking lot pool, um, which is not cute. Um, it was very not relaxing. The pool was hot um, and it was really hot outside. Uh, so I sat there for like two minutes and was like, mm, never mind. <laughs> so I went back upstairs. That was not good because then I took a nap. <laughs> And I basically napped and then I woke up, ate dinner, and then went back to sleep for the night. Um, I didn't do much productive after I last spoke to you. Um, so that's fun. But yesterday I did make some progress on the pairing. Um, I read like almost 100 pages I think during my like downtime at work and that was about all I could stomach of that book. <laughs> I was like forcing myself to read it but by the end of my shift I was like okay I can't read this anymore. I was so tempted to like start something else but I'm like you can't start something else. You have so many books that you're currently reading so I managed to refrain from doing that. Yeah I don't know I just I'm not liking the pairing at all. I am over halfway now. I'm like 215 pages or so in. I finally got two kids POV. I don't it's not really any better than Theo's to me. <laughs> They're both fucking annoying and they both don't talk to each other and as someone who just like casual sex is just such a like incomprehensible thing to me <laughs> so the fact that that's all that bo this book is about like them having casual sex with people other than each other is just really difficult and unenjoyable for me <laughs> to read about personally like I'm sure it doesn't bother other people as much uh but for me it just is not what I want to be reading about so honestly the book's just like making me sad and angry <laughs> And I, I want to DNF it, but like, I also don't. So I'm so conflicted. Like, I don't know what to do about it. So today I'm getting ready to go to, I keep wanting to say Milan. We're not going to Milan this time. We're going to Naples. Going to Naples, Italy today. So that's what I'm getting ready for right now. So on my trip, I probably, I usually don't read a ton on international trips because we do like actually get a break where I can sleep. <laughs> um, So I usually do that. I may like read some like in the hotel or like, out at dinner if I'm by myself or whatever so I will bring something with me. I feel like I probably will bring the pairing and hope that maybe I get some inspiration to read some more of it but I think what I'm actually in the mood to read now is Brother Song by TJ Klune so I think that that is what I might focus on next. I definitely still want to try and power through the pairing but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stomach much more than like 50 pages at a time. I don't know maybe it'll get better in the back half. I thought maybe it would get better once they kind of started to communicate about their miscommunication that caused them to break up because this is a second chance romance. And they did that, but they're still being fucking idiots. <laughs> and it's just very, like, a very frustrating thing to read about. I'll probably bring the pairing and brother song with me to Naples. Don't know how much reading I'm going to get done, but I will show you what I get up to in Naples. I'm very excited to explore um, and to have some pizza, obviously. Birthplace of pizza. Very excited about that. I'll be working up front in first class, which is my preferred place to work on an international trip. I'm in the aisle up front, so that's good. Hopefully my crew is nice. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all the updates I have. I will talk to you again once we're in Italy. I live inside my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the door through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything
Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush very good job of updating you after I got back from Naples. So I'm here to wrap up this vlog a few days late. <laughs> the last thing you saw was Naples. I had a great crew. I had so much fun. We walked around the city and went to dinner at this beautiful restaurant on the water. The food was so good and I just had the best time. It was great. It was such a great trip. And then I don't think I read at all on that trip, which like I said, isn't atypical of me on an international trip because usually there's just other things to be doing other than reading and I'm usually pretty tired <laughs> and I think I was so tired that I just did an update for the next few days because I was just exhausted and recovering. It's usually the red eye over to Europe that just screws me up like having to stay up all night working on that flight is really what gets me because I usually get plenty of sleep like I usually take a nap when I get there and then I usually sleep through the night but just that initial red eye just screws me up um, and that's one of the reasons why I I usually only work like one international month because I'm a princess and I don't like working at night. <laughs> but anyway, that was a trip fit for a princess. So it was amazing. It was so much fun. I had a great time. Um, and then I got back at like 6 p.m. and then I went out in the morning of the very next day for another three-day domestic trip. And so I just was kind of in a whirlwind, kind of in a fog, just did not have time to update y'all. But it was funny because on that domestic trip, I actually ended up working with this guy that I worked with on my very first flight attendant trip with my current company ever, which was so funny and so full circle as I've almost been there for a full three years now. So seeing him again, it was really fun. He was um, fun to work with. So that was a good time. Um, and on that domestic trip, it was a three day domestic trip. It was fairly easy. The first day was pretty long though, because we flew from Newark to a Aruba and then from Aruba to Houston which are both like four and a half hour flights so it was a long day. So basically I worked that and then I just knocked out went to sleep when I got to the hotel. The next day it was a shorter day we went from Houston to Dulles and then from Dulles to Nashville and we were done around 2 p.m which was nice. Um, I think I ordered food though and went to sleep at like 6 p.m because I was just so tired so I didn't get a lot of a lot done on my layovers on this trip because basically I was just sleeping recovering from my Naples trip um and then on the last day on Monday it was easy it was just one leg home from Nashville to Newark that was nice and I was able to like feel fully recovered by the time Monday rolled around now let's talk about what I have read since I last spoke to you so I did end up reading I still have not finished the pairing I'm gonna be honest with you but I did read to page 315 so I read another 100 pages since the last time I spoke to you and I only have um like less than 100 left so I am actually planning to knock this out later today because I really need to finish this book. The last 100 pages are the best 100 pages I have read. I still don't think it's enough to convince me to enjoy this book but the last 100 pages were at least not quite such a struggle to read. 
I did also pick up Brother Song. I didn't read very much though. I only read 45 pages because I wanted to get to page 100 so I could film my update for my vlog. And I have filmed that so I can keep reading this. I actually am on page 97 um, and I started at 56, I think. So I only read like 40 pages of this, but I did make some progress. And then when I got home on Monday, I went on a walk and did some chores and got my life back together again. Um, and while I was doing that, I did end up listening to Page Boy by Elliot Page, his memoir that discusses his um, gender journey as well as his sexuality, discovering himself, like becoming himself, um, becoming comfortable with himself, discusses family relations, therapy, friendships, all kinds of stuff. It was really good. It was very like meaty. There's a lot cramped into the story and I thought it was very valuable like as a queer person to read it. I really enjoyed it. I felt very validated by some of the things that Elliot was talking about and it was interesting to learn more about his life and his journey and I really enjoyed it. Gave it five stars. Um, So that was another book checked off of the currently reading. So I feel like as is my standard conclusion for these videos, I wish I had read more but I'm still happy with what I read. So instead of finishing all the books I'm currently reading, which let's admit is probably too many ambitious, I did manage to finish three and then I made progress on three more. So I think that that's pretty good. That's pretty typical of me of a reading week. So uh, we finished Ring Shout, we finished Middle of the Night, and we finished Page Boy. Um, and then I made progress on these three, City of Fire, Brother Song, and The Pairing. And hopefully I'll get them finished up in September. That's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you're interested in any of the books that I talked about in this video, I will leave them linked in the description down below. These are affiliate links, which means I can earn a tiny commission if you purchase through those links. Of course, it's no pressure. It's just there if you want to. Free ways to support this channel are all the fun YouTube things that I know you guys know how to do. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below. I love to hear from you, not just for selfish engagement purposes. I actually enjoy talking to you guys. So um, if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. You can also follow me on social media if you would like. All of those links are in the description as always. And I think that that's everything for me today. So thank you so much for watching this video for being here. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.